I'm talking about this man know, know how to cook at 16. He used to love to cook like he would cook in his free time. He was a, he, this man could cook, y'all. Girl, why he closed the door? I'm scared. I just can't do it. Welcome back, Jules and Gems, to my channel. We're here with another story time. I'm so sorry that I kept you guys waiting. I actually really did attend to keep you guys waiting this long. For the next story time, I do apologize. My priority's just been a little bit other places, and I'm going to probably have to keep apologizing because um, it is not intentional, you guys. I work a 9 to 5. It's not really a 9 to 5. Um, I never know when I'm actually going to get off work. You guys know I travel for work. I work from home and I work in the office all in one big job. And last week I didn't get a chance to sit down and pre-record some new videos to edit. And I just was kind of, you know, drained. And I'm also on this fitness journey. So, you know, that's kind of consuming a lot of my time on top of planning my birthday my birthday photo shoot it's just a lot going on right now february and march are always very hectic months for me and i'm not uh excusing me being mia for like uh, over a week and consistently being mia for over a week it's just that i'm just letting you guys know as far as like you know my birthday's coming up and i like to go big for my birthday so i always spend a lot of time trying to perfect whatever i have planned for myself and I do tell you, like, I am telling you guys so seriously, I'm very stressed out right now as far as planning, budgeting, and then also getting ready to leave in, like, two weeks for my birthday vacation. So, it's just, like, it's a lot on my plate right now. So, yeah. With that being said, hey, Jules and Gems. Um, if you are new to my channel, I do call my babies Jules and Gems for ladies and gentlemen. And if you like my content, my story times, my vlogs, and my random, random stuff that I do, um, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Turn the post notification bell on because YouTube sometimes, you know, likes to play with my subscribers and don't tell them that I posted a video or that I went live. And to my two live crew, hey, y'all. Y'all been kind of quiet when I get on live, so... I'm going to give y'all a little break because I guess, you know, I don't want to overwhelm y'all. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get straight into it. As you can see by the title, this is not a college story time. <laughs> this actually happened when I was in high school. Now, in the beginning of my YouTube story time career, I used to tell a lot of my high school story times because I was still in college. So, uh, you guys you know, didn't hear about him because I actually forgot about him and it's so crazy. So, I don't know what made me think about him, but yeah, he got a couple story times in the chamber. So, let's go ahead and introduce Jerome. That's not his real name, but that's what we're going to call him, Jerome. Um, Jerome and I met over Facebook back in 2013 2014 something like that whenever i was like uh 16 going on 17 me and him met over facebook and we were talking for like a couple days or whatever and then he just told me like i want to meet you and at the time i was so giddy behind him i don't know because i guess like i was so okay let me explain something really quick so let me slow down um if you guys don't know i did lose my virginity at 16 years old Sorry, mama, if you're watching this, but you 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 knew I was wasn't gonna make it 18, um, and it was not by him. It was actually by a guy who was 20 years old who I had known for a while. So after going through that and then meeting the guy that proposed to me, that kind of faded out. We were in and out. Me and that guy he ended up moving. I'll retell that story time. If you can't wait, go back go back because y'all said I didn't never tell that story time and I realized I did tell that story time it just was in my earlier days of YouTube but I'll retell it eventually so in the midst of dealing with the guy after I had first first lost my virginity so guy number two we were on and off and this is how I met him in the midst of me being on and off with that guy um so he was just uh finally a guy my age again we were both in high school we were both 
waking up at four or five o'clock in the morning getting ready for school so i feel like i had somebody that i could relate to a little bit more it actually took me serious and i didn't feel like i was being played or used because the other two gentlemen were both 20 years old so um just talking to him he called me every morning before classes i could hear him walking around getting his breakfast getting up school bus walking over to his first period class dapping it up with his homeboys you know i could you know i just felt like this, this is my little what is my little man like i'm walking around campus he walk around campus we get ready for the, the bell to ring so we can be like baby i love you i'm gonna go to class so yeah like that was going on for like a weekend and he was like i really want to meet you like i really like you i'm feeling you so i'm like okay well i told him well my mama is taking me to go get my nails done i don't know exactly like for what i can't remember um she i said she's dropping me off and go get my nails done on friday or something like that i was like if you want to you could come up here and we can make it like a little date and so he was like well i want you to get blue and i was like oh um well i don't know about blue something like i don't i really don't like the color blue as you can see um i was like i really don't know about blue but blue is his favorite color so he was like well i'll pay for it so me being young 16 i'm like oh my god i do finna pay for my nails like he got money like i'm 16 i'm like oh my god like my nails getting paid for it now mind you back in the days getting your nails done your toes done and your eyebrows even a pedicure was like 45 50 dollars you know so it really wasn't nothing major and i wasn't getting all of that i was just getting my nails done and my toes done and that's it so he actually came up there he had his mama drop him off at the nail salon jerome came i still remember what he had on. i still remember these pictures because if you go on my what my what pad which i recently deleted the link out of my description but if you go to my what pad i think i changed the picture but for the longest the picture used to be me and jerome at that very first day he had this bucket hat on with all these colors on it and when i met him he was so freaking short jerome was like my height is probably like shorter but he was real short dark skin cute smile just like i don't know how to explain it to this day just like the memory of the things that i thought were gonna happen and how he was back then it still makes my heart smile so like he just was so cute when i met him i was like i had on these big old baggy jeans my stepdad called them the mariah Carey jeans had a whole bunch of holes in them and a cute little like crop top shirt with the sleeves cut off like something like that and i remember i had my brown little sew in with the the leave out girl you know b2 before so something like that was like probably like 16 inches nothing crazy I still remember him coming and sitting next to me and it was like, do you want, you know, asking him, do you want to sit next to me instead of like in the waiting area? He came to pull his chair up next to me and we was talking and this and the third and I was trying to sneak in when I was getting my toes and I was trying to sneak in and put a little entry in my diary because I used to have a diary back in the days on my phone and it was a diary that was like pink. I don't remember the name of the app because after I lost that Android, I didn't lose Android, but I up changed phones to like a galaxy something galaxy four and i had a galaxy five after that so after i had changed hold on after i had changed phones i lost the the, the password for the diary so i just never oh my god so i just never found the um the app again i just you know now i write handwrite so but back then it was like a way for me to be able to write in a diary without my mama seeing it because i promised you my mom was nosy so i just didn't want her my business i didn't want her knowing like how bad i was feeling him because mostly every entry was about him like once we met we was hooked like this like the talking on the phone went from like once or twice and then texting to we talking all day long we seen each other every weekend my mama i know i'm going kind of fast because it just progressed like really really fast it got to a point where i was ready to like meet his mom well he was ready for me to meet his mama he wanted to be my mama like the way he i don't know if it was because he's not here to testify but just the way it felt so innocent like i missed that young love where you y'all fall in real deep and it just seems so serious so soon 
Like, that's how it was. Like, my mom and his mom kind of understood, like, how we really was, like, fooling with each other for real. So, my mama, she, girl, child, the day he had came over to my mama's house, like, to hang out with me, she sat him down in the living room, asking him all type of questions, talk about, so what's your amb the ambitions in life? And are you, are you having sex? And da -da -da -da. she asked him, all. first of all, we hadn't did anything sexual at all. Like no touching, nothing. We only kissed and hugged. That was it. So we hadn't even like got there, you know? So she asked him all these crazy questions. And I'm like, oh, mom, that's embarrassing. Like stop. Like I still remember her having my sisters and her huddle around him in the freaking living room badgering him with questions and um he was just saying how he really like i really like your daughter i really want to be with your daughter like we was arguing relationship but he like i really want to be with your daughter i want to marry her he used to tell oh shoot it's my braces y'all i'm sorry for talking funny but he used to say all the time i'm gonna marry you this and the third i'm gonna marry you you know niggas love that one so um after that mom was like she after she had met him girl mama had made him a plate of food she had cooked that day made him play food said jerome you can stay to the food done i'll take you back to your mama house mind you he lived in winter haven and i lived in lakeland if you do not know the difference between that it's like 30 minutes girl mama was dropping him off picking up we sit in the back seat holding hands smile like girl we was so kitty love it was crazy so mama like after that day mama had put me to the side she was like listen i just want to have a conversation with y'all want to talk to you because i can already see where this is gonna go and i can see how much you really like him um and you really probably like already love him so i'm gonna just go ahead and tell you i feel like you are gonna lose your virginity to him and i want you to be smart about it i want you to be safe i'm not gonna let you do it in my house <laughs> But I I I could tell y'all are gonna find y'all way to do that. And I don't I'm not gonna keep you away from him because he seemed like a decent guy. Um because he wasn't no like at that time, he was not a thug. Now we're gonna get down the line for some more story times where he changed his life around. But um and not for the good. But she was like, I don't, you know. I just don't want you to get pregnant and I don't want you to do, you know, feel like you can't talk to me. So I did feel like I couldn't talk to her. <laughs> but um so we used to talk all the time. Like he was working at Legoland after high school. Like when he got out of school, he goes to Legoland. At that time I was working at McDonald's after school. So um I'm talking about this man know know how to cook at 16. He used to love to cook like he would cook in his free time he was a he this man could cook y'all at 16 years old and i used to tell him all the time you really should be a chef like you're young and you already know how to cook so good in so many things like if you take yourself serious you could become a really well respected and well paid chef like i think you should you know just keep that going if he would listen to me he'd probably be somewhere better in life right now but yeah, girl, and we used to just talk while he was on the grill at Legoland. He'd be in the kitchen, and they'll move around to different little restaurants and stuff, and he'd be, like, mad at the end of the night. And, uh, just like, man, fuck this shit. You gonna be fucked up tonight. He's just disrespecting me. He's so cute, because he was so short. And so, uh, I remember it was, like, one of his sister's birthday, and they was having this big old family birthday party for her at one of the family members' little, um, house with like a little pool house whatever so they had a patio with a like a patio with a pool inside of it on the back of the house so they had invited me and um his his mama picked me up i want to say his mom picked me up he was already at the party um we were texting the whole time he was like um i'm outside with his, he was outside with his cousin at that time i had already knew he smoked so he was just telling me like oh they finna go walk around the neighborhood so they could smoke real quick and um I said, okay, so he was like, by the time I get back, you probably already be changing in your bathing suit and stuff. Now, mind you, I was kind of nervous. Like, I didn't, I was like, okay, I don't want to cling to his mama. But if y'all know me in real life, I've always been very, like, shy and reserved when I first meet people. And, and very, very introverted. I would sit on the couch right next to you and won't say one word. <laughs> 
one word like i won't say nothing to you because i just be very cool like, i'm scary like bitch i'm scary i gotta get comfortable i gotta be with somebody that i'm already comfortable with then you will see like my real side so he like gone with his cousin i'm just sitting there like the food not done they kiss in the pool yeah, adults play dominoes. Da -da. One bone. Da -da. The adults play spades. Da -da. He's still gone. Now, mind you, none of them had a car. They literally walk, like, left, walk on foot. So I'm just like, damn, what the fuck? Why is he taking so long? So he came back right when I was about to, like, get in the pool. And then he came back, and I, I like, seen all the, the boys come back. I got scared, so I didn't take my shorts off. So he was like, why you don't want to get in there? I was like, no, I just, I, I couldn't tell him like, no, I, I was going to get in. And I remember all these niggas was here. So I got scared. So, uh, he was like, what's, what's like, what's wrong with you? Like, you, what's, what's going on? And I was like, I'm just like, I'm just nervous. So any guy who's ever dealt with me and you put me in a social predicament, you see, you've seen this out of me. Like, you seeing this, this very, very, like, it's nothing like me. It's, no, I don't have, it's, I can't even control it. It's just another side of me that if I'm put in that situation, then I respond like that. And I, it takes a lot of soothing and reassurance for me to, like, get comfortable and not shut down at the social event that you invited me to. So, he was like, what's going on? And I was like, I just. I don't know. I just don't. He's like, what? I'm like, um, I'm not comfortable. <laughs> so he was like, man, come in the room with me. Come in the room with me. So I'm just like, he like, what is going on with you? Like, my family, they like you. Like, why are you not talking about it? You just sitting in the corner on the chair. Like, and so I told him, like, I'm scared. I just can't do it. I can't go back out there. Like, nobody really talking to me. And then, it's like a lot of kids. He was like, you know, I know it's your little sister's birthday, but it's just like, I don't feel comfortable. I don't feel like I fit in. Like, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say to the adults. I don't know what to say to the other kids. It's not, it's only one other girl here that's my age and she's here with your cousin. That's his girlfriend. So me and her both just sitting there like, da -da 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 -da, where's my boyfriend? You know, so I just like, I don't know. I just, I'm kind of ready to go home. And like, yeah. And so he like, man, Give me a hug. It's okay. It's okay. So then he give me a hug. Girl, did, did I know this was going to be the day? No, I did not. If I would have knew, I didn't know. <laughs> so we we hugging, whatever. We start kissing. And he like, hold on real quick. So then he go back. Like, he it just stopped the kiss. Mid kiss. Like, we, you know, doing what we normally do, kiss. We kissing. He literally pulled away from me. He looked at me like, hold on real quick. And literally just walk out the room. So I'm just like, what did I do wrong? So I'm just like, I'm so freaking confused right now. So I'm just sitting on the bed because I'm really trying to contemplate why he left. He come back like two minutes later and he like, okay, we good. And I'm like, we good for what? <laughs> So he locked the door, he lost the door, and then he started kissing me again. He's like, I want to I wanna do it with you. And I'm like, right now, no, like, your family here. And he's like, come on, man, like, they're not going to hear us. I just went out there letting them know, like, give you some privacy. So we going to, they don't know I'm in here, so we gonna, they said they, gonna, they ain't going to bother you. I let them know that you, you want to take a little second away from the family. So, yeah, so nobody going to come over here. Nobody going to come to this part of the house. So I'm like, okay, mind you, the house is pretty big. So when he said this part of the house, it literally was like a part of the house. So I'm just like, okay. So he started kissing me. Doing, like I was experienced, but I still was kind of a rookie, you know? So certain stuff I wasn't used to yet. So like the... So he he was real like sensual with me. It was never well. I'm not gonna say it was never because the, the the time I snuck him. Anyways, we talk about that another day. But yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so we we was like gonna try doing the bed. The bed was big as heck, but the bed was like 
make it a whole lot of noise. So at first we was on the bed and then we kind of was like, we might not, can't do it on here. So he was like, get on the floor. So then I felt like a little red dog. Get on the floor, ew. So I do it. I did. I did do it. I got on the floor and I still remember, I still remember it like it was like yesterday. Like how he laid me on my stomach and he put, he put the Jenny on and slid in front of it and I remember that. I remember that. I ain't gonna just let do this. I ain't gonna let do this. So <laughs> I still remember that though. And then I remember like uh, afterwards, he was just like back then. I miss the good old days where niggas was still concerned and worried about you and did aftercare after sex. And so he was like, "You okay? You good? I know like we weren't supposed to do that, but but it was so it was our first time." taking it past the kiss and it was like really like i felt like okay i'm locked in with this man for real like mind you i had done did something with two other guys already but it wasn't like this like neither of the times that i did something with those two fellas wasn't anything like this it wasn't rush it wasn't he wasn't like Yeah, you like this thing? You like this thing? <laughs> it wasn't none of that. It was like real. Is that okay? Are you liking it? Like, mind you, we're the same age. This nigga, you know what I'm saying? Most guys at that age is are rabbits, you know, and he wasn't real rabbity with me. So I don't know. It, like, it kind of went in my head. And I was about, like, I was real messed up behind him after that situation. So he was like, You want to go to the bathroom and clean stuff off? So I go to the bathroom clean myself off i come back girl why he closed the door <laughs> and we did it again yeah we did it again Back then, this man, I can't speak for now because I don't know what he doing with his Peter Smackawacker. But back then, this man could bust on her. And then two minutes later, be back stiff, ready to give me some more. And I used to be like, what the heck? Like, he'll, uh, uh, at 5.55. At 5.57, let's do it again. Like, I'm like, whoa. And I was not used to that. I wasn't used to... Somebody, uh, and then two minutes later, like, stiff, ready, hard, like, let's go. Like, I was not used to that. So, I just like, whoa, what? <laughs> and I really honestly, and y'all get to know him even more and more story time. I just wanted to introduce y'all to him. Um, this man was, I think, the person who turned me to who I am now when it comes to, I want it, like, repetitiously like drink you drink you a little bottle of water and get cooler lay out in the bed for a couple minutes let go again like all that on tide baby one round was enough that don't sit well with me you know and i really want to blame it on him because First of all, it it took a while, almost like uh, the middle of college before. Yeah, my sophomore year with my college, the college guy I was dating. Um, I hadn't had that like repetitious sex um, until again, until I went to college and I was like 20 years old. So from 16 to 20, that was a big gap. And even by the time I was, finally had met him i still was already feeling that way like i couldn't stand like a one hit a quitter like at all <laughs> i at all so it kind of backfired on me not like realizing the things i took away out the relationship but i'm still like that to this day like to this day i'm still like that but that was jerome uh it's so hard because the the, it, I should have named something else because his name is like real close, not like next dog, but like down the street. So it's kind of like I gotta watch myself. Um, but yeah. So.
sometimes I be thinking I miss him and then I remember I had double back when I had left college and I remember how trash it was at the college. So yeah. Um the next time I'm gonna tell y'all the story time about how I snuck him in, in my mama's house. Yeah. How the well not even snuck no I never had to sneak in my mom's house because my mom, not the other dude, I did have to sneak in my mom's house. But I never had to sneak in my mom's house. I'm going to tell y'all about the, I just bit my, sorry about my, I'm going to tell y'all about the time where we, oh! <laughs> get out of my business. God, dog, I'm tired of being a story time channel. Just be telling all my little funky business. No, I'm going to tell y'all for real, for real. About the time where we did a do right underneath my mama's nose, like two inches away from her, and she didn't even know it. And mama, I'm telling you, don't get off my YouTube because the things that you're gonna find out about me is gonna break your heart. And we we like being like this. I'm 25, you're 40, whatever. Stop playing with me. Whatever that noise was. Um, and we cool. So I don't need you to hear this stuff about when I was a little badass little girl. Fast tell. But yeah, I'm gonna tell y'all this story time because I promise you, boo -boo, she didn't know a thing. <sighs> yeah, she didn't know a thing. But the good old days. And after I tell that story time, I already told my live the way, like the different story times about him that I want to tell y'all. I'm gonna tell y'all about the story time where I had double back. And it was trash. Um, that story time is going to be mixed in with the story time how I slept with two dudes in one day. And he was one of the dudes. Yeah. And one night, literally like two hours apart type. Yeah. So, and then I'll tell y'all the story time how he broke up with me because I went to Atlanta for spring break. Yeah. And that's it. Those, those, that's all his story times that that he's involved with. Um, yeah, basically. So I hope y'all enjoyed it. I had fun, even though it's late. It's like eight, nine o'clock at night. But um, until next time, do some games. Peace.